Okay guys, well uh, before I get started today I thought I'd compare the old bearings to the new bearings. Uh, the new bearings are these two on top up here. The old bearings are these ones. As you can tell there's some uh, ball bearings missing out of it. And the, uh, I don't know what you want to call them, the, like the ball spacers that go in the bearings got all chewed up. So, yeah, those bearings were just about on the last legs. These are the new bearings. Hopefully you guys can kind of tell. Don't know if you guys can tell in the videos or not, but I switched back to only uh, 480p. Because 720 just seemed like it just took so much extra time to upload it to YouTube. So. But, looks just about the same to me, so. There's the... There, there those are. Yeah, can't talk yet. It's semi early out yet. All right. Uh, I'll get this moved so I can work on it, and I'll show you guys how to change these. All right, so I have the tractor pulled over here. Uh, the hood is held up with a bungee cord, which you guys can barely see up there, but it is. Um, I have the starter chain off. Uh, I also got a light here, Hope, so hopefully you guys can see some. You guys can kind of see. I have the gas line off the tank. Uh, it'd probably be a good idea to drain the gas out, but there isn't a whole lot of gas in here, so. Uh, I use uh, Air Impact. This makes this job a lot faster. Um, just thought I'd do a short video of how to get to these bolts. I don't know how well you guys will be able to see there, but... I wish I had a better place to set the camera. I can't tell what you guys can see. Hmm. Now well, you guys see what you guys see. Um... So, uh... After you have the starter chain removed, if you have a starter, uh, you also need to take off the rear hitch supports. Um, uh, this has one of the older style, which has a 916 nut on it. And it also <laughs> has one newer style with a three quarter inch nut on it. <laughs> and basically, you just pull, pull the straps out of the way. Uh, that screwdriver? No, I my screwdriver. Oh, here I got a wrench, that works. Uh, some of these can be quite stubborn. Um, and then the hitch should basically just drop down. You should probably loosen the bolts on the bottom of these too. Again, you guys can't see squat, but loosen the bolts on the bottom that'll help a lot. Even take them the whole way off. So you just drop them down out of the road like so. The whole hitch. And then there's a half inch bolt which holds the starter plate on. This machine did not actually have one of these long starter bolts until last week when I took this apart. I happen to have a spare, so I put it in here. Pull the bolt out, making sure not to lose the spacer that's on the back. Just put that aside and part spin along with the bolt. Then I just take and drop the starter down and lay it on the ground like so. You don't have to take the cables off or anything. And then the only thing that is now holding the uh, 
fan shroud and gas tank assembly on is the two bolts and handlebars. And I will remove those in a second. Now I do believe they're 9 sixteenths. Should be 9 sixteenths anyway, this is what I should say. Oh, I don't remember if I took the head off this last time or not. Not the head, the uh, fan shroud. Might have to in order to get the nuts on the back. Ugh. Yeah, fan crowd out some more. Okay, once the fan shroud's off here, you can get at these nuts that are, where are they at, uh, like right here. Now again, sorry for the bad uh, camera guys, my shop is dark, so don't pick up on anything real good, but uh, here's the old college try anyways. You guys might be able to see something there. than what I thought. Alright, now I think we'll be okay. I should just pop right out. I just put these in the other week. There you guys should be able to see something. And you have to take this nut off and then this pulley is uh Thread it on there. 
Again, I just used an impact gun, not... Oh, excuse me. So, hopefully I'll find a place to prop you guys up so you guys can see something here. You guys can kind of see there. Yeah, guys, should be able to kind of tell them that. Half inch socket. I think I can do that. Yeah, I can do that. That should just pop off. Then I uh, need a 15 16 socket. Oh. Can you get at that with a socket? No, you can't get at that with a socket. So, if I remember correctly, um, Alright, this is what I do for this part. Uh, I take a 15-16 wrench. The 15-16s? Might be 7 eight. Take a second wrench, uh, put it in one of the slots of the fan housing in between the, fan, the fan, and then just take and uh, lightly tap and break the pulley loose. The pulley should just spin right off. not to lose any of these parts. They are expensive to replace. Uh, just take and uh, knock the fan out. Being sure not to lose any space spacers or washers that are behind the fan bearing. Take and remove the fan. It's hopefully this is a washer you guys a few. Basically, the next step, my fan, has, fan housing will cooperate, uh, is to take and hammer out the fan bearings. Um, I like to use a screwdriver, but at least you have to get, you almost use, you almost have to use a screwdriver on one side to push one side out. Screwdriver I actually want to use went missing, so we'll have to use a different one here. There we go. There's a little spacer that goes in between the uh, two bearings. Don't want to lose that. Also, remember to put that in. Where did the other bearing go to? Oh, here it is. These are 
semi good bearings. There's a little bit of play to them, but they were spares I happen to have laying around, so I just slammed them in there. Again, if there's gas in your tank, make sure your shutoff is off securely. So you do not catch yourself on fire. Now, it doesn't really matter which bearing you put in first, but just take and, uh, again, you guys really can't see everything, but I don't think you guys can see anything now. Maybe I'll explain it better on the other side, I'll just do this one. Take a hammer and lightly start it, and then find a socket and start it inside. Uh, uh, Seventeen millimeter looks about right. Just tap it in until it's flush, I think. That's normally fine. Um I like to uh, put the fan back in now, because then you can slide the spacer in over it and put the bearing in to center it. Said. Hopefully you guys can see something. Yeah, you guys can kind of see on this side. Let's take this little spacer and put it down between the two bearings. And you want to take the bearings. Make sure they haven't gotten dirty while they're on your workbench. They are sealed bearings, but still, the cleaner they start out, the better off you'll be. Just take it, slide it down over. Actually, that one just pressed in with uh, my fingers, so that's no good. But just take and give that a light tap or two with the hammer. Again, you should really remove your fuel, fuel shut off from the tank and drain the tank when you do this, but I did not. And you want to take, put these little washers back on that were behind the pulley. And the next thing is to thread the pulley back onto the chest. Oh, it's probably... Yeah, it's rubbing on the piston I have holding this up. <laughs> And the same thing to tighten this. Just take a wrench, jam it in the fan housing here in one of the slots. And then take another wrench and just... I just tighten them up until they're snug. They're probably supposed to be a certain amount of foot pounds. Basically all you want to do is take all the free play out of the bearings. And once you put it all back together, well, it's almost back again. See, the fan is a little tight there. Probably should spin easily, and it's not. 
So, I probably that a little tight. I'm taking back this off about uh, eighth quarter of a turn, maybe. About that much. They're still a little tight, so. They're spinning freer, though. So. Alright, then uh, basically what this is, this is a lock nut that goes on here. Um, again, I just like to tighten this down with an impact gun so you don't have to hold it. Uh, I use the lowest setting, I use one. Um, I probably have very little air pressure in the tank, so... I also want to make sure you're going forwards. That should be tight enough. Alright, so after you drop the finger housing a couple times, you want to put it back on the tractor. And assemble everything. Um, hopefully you, got, you guys can see that alright, I don't know how well. Um, yeah, like I said, you guys can't see Dilly squat in his shop when it's dark outside. Try to move the light without blowing the light bulb. You can see. The engine's not too bad, it's a little greasy, but I mainly use this tractor as a snowplow tractor in the winter, so I really don't care too much. Um so but anyway, right? Bam. Don't know if you guys can hear the wind outside or not, but You guys couldn't see anything anyways, but wind's really whipping and banging outside, so. So anyway, uh, I don't think I'll bore you guys with the assembly of this. Uh, I already got like 20 minutes into it, but I will show you it uh, running once it gets put back together. Also, if you take a note, the 64 is not over there anymore. Where could the 64 be? Oh, -ho! That'll be later. Well, sometimes in a project, there comes a time when, uh, when you're as good as me, you can put a project back together in 20 minutes and get this. Nice. There's like a kick. So there, right? So that's the fan bearings in the 59. Uh, I wanted to do a cold start of the 64 too, but I gotta find some gas for a net uh, to do that. Uh, after I put the head gasket in. Uh, I might as well just show you guys the 64. Plug this. I almost killed myself a couple times on this. And it's stuck the 64 out here. Oh. Head gaskets back on. Um, you guys can kind of see the, the uh, fix I did for the one broken head bolt. Uh, I gotta figure out what attachment I'm gonna put it back on this. Uh, it's kind of late in the season to put a mower on, but I don't know what else to put on this. Uh, if it wouldn't have rained last night, I would have put the unpowered cultivator on it and tried it, but so, I don't know that'll be another video later guys, so thanks for watching so this video will end up being like, I don't know, 23 minutes long or something like that, so see you later